in the same direction. What is the magnetic field at a point A midway between the two wires? So here's a point, let's say, A halfway between the two wires. What's the magnetic field? Now, there are two magnetic fields at A. One magnetic field produced by the wire on the left, and another one produced by the wire on the right. Now, since both have the same current, and it's the same distance from both of them, so the magnetic fields have the same magnitude. The magnetic field, remember, is produced by a wire carrying a current, B, produced by long, straight wire, is what? Mu zero I over 2 pi R. So the first one, the one on the left, produces a magnetic field mu zero i, which is 10, over 2 pi r, and r is 0 0.1. And the other one also produces the same thing, mu zero i is 10 over 2 pi, and then r also is 0 0.1. So they produce the same, they produce two magnetic fields with the same magnitude. Now, the question is, will the net magnetic field be twice that. Now, how much is that, by the way? Mu zero is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. I is 10, 10 amperes. Over 2 pi, what is R? 0 0.1, so 10 to the minus 1. So this is 10 to the 2, 10 to the minus 5, and then 2 here. So 2 times 10 to the minus 5, Tesla. This is the magnetic field produced by each wire. So what is the total magnetic field here? Will it be, f will I just add them? Do I get 4 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla? So total B at A, is it 4 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla? If you say that, uh, that would be too hasty. Too hasty in what way? In the sense that you're treating magnetic fields as though they were scalars. But magnetic fields are vectors. They have directions. And so we have to be careful and check the direction of B for each one of them. So for the first wire, which is going up this way, what is the magnetic field at A? You use the right-hand rule. For the right-hand rule, for the wire carrying a current, you put your thumb along the wire, along the current. And then you're, you curl your fingers and your fingers then will point in the direction of the magnetic field. So this is the wire, there's a current here, so my thumb is along the current, and then the fingers point in the direction of the field. They curl around the wire. But here, at point A, the magnetic field is into the page. So if I call this wire 1 and this wire 2, the magnetic field due to wire 1, that is B1 here, is into the page. That's B1. Now how about wire 2? Wire 2, again, you put your thumb along wire 2 and then you curl your fingers. Now, on this side, on the right side, it's also into the page. But now your fingers, when you curl them, they have to go under the page and then come out of the page on the other side. Like here, 
Now, on this side, you put, put the thumb, on this side, my, the fingers are into the page. But on the other side, they are out of the page. So for one or two, the magnetic field at point A is out of the page. So B2 here is out of the page. So you get one current into the page, one current out of the page. They both have the same magnitude, but they are opposite in direction. So what's the magnetic field? Zero. So this is wrong. Correct answer is that B equals zero. Total magnetic field at A is zero. Now what happens if I reverse the current in one of them? If I reverse the current in one of them, let's say if I reverse it in this one here, then for the first current, the magnetic field is still B1 into the page. When I reverse the current here, now you put your thumb along the current, and on this side, you curl your fingers, and they curl into the page. So in this case, if I reverse the current, both will be into the page. And so each one is 2 times 10 to the minus 5. Now, so I get 4 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla. So I get... If the one on the right is reversed, if current on the right is reversed, then V1 would be 2 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla into the page, and B2 would be 2 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla into the page. So the total B will be 4 times 10 to the minus 5 tesla into the page. If instead I reverse this current, the one on the left, then same story. If I reverse one on the left, so this one remains up, so B2 is still now out of the page. But now if I reverse the current in the first wire, it's B1 is still being into the page, it will be out of the page. So now I have both magnetic fields out of the page. So if I reverse current 1, B1 will be out of the page, B2 will be out of the page. Again, they add up. Again, I still get 4 times to the minus 5. But now it's out of the page. That's why here it's just what is the magnitude. So either way, whichever one you reverse, the magnitude will still be four times 10 to the minus five Tesla. It's a question of whether it's into or out of the page. All right, so this is fine.